So we're getting ready to tape off second dragon wing. In a minute, I'll uh, pan over and show you the other dragon wing that's uh, just got the base laid down. I'm kind of looking over there at the other dragon wing to kind of get my bearing straight on where I need to put this tape. You know what, I'm gonna do this just a little bit different so it'll be easier for me to pull the right tape when I get ready to pull it. Go ahead and run one piece of masking tape around the whole thing. That way when I overlap the spines, it'll be easier to pull the right tape because you can't tell this blue tape from itself once you get going. I think I'm going to pull that a little tighter right there. I'll get back to you right after we get this mask. Quick and easy.
turn around and spray this way. That way I don't get, any, get a ton of over spray up here. I gotta put some black on these bags anyway after I get all this airbrushing done just to kind of smoke everything in. So I'm not too worried about a little bit of over spray right now. Okay, so we're gonna lay in this, this fine part of the wing. The thing about fine line tape is, is it's like sketching with a pencil. If you don't like what you've done, you can always pull it up, put it back down. Boy, it sure got hot in here. Usually I run the air, but when I'm filming, the air is just gonna get sucked out by the exhaust fan and everything else. So what I do is I tape off each one of these To be honest, when I was back feeding this, I probably got a little too much silver on that one, but I'll just hit it, hit it with some black to reshade it. And I don't care about this little bit of overspray because that's gonna get a little bit of paint over it anyway, so. No big deal. Fortunately, my airbrush hangers on the other side of the shop, on the other side of the paint booth here. Might as well just do this, save us some time at this point. only do it so far oh, how blind I was to not see that but we caught it we caught it <clears throat> You'll see why I'm not going to great extremes masking everything here in a minute. It's really not going to matter. It kind of helps me a little bit as I'm uh, laying in the freehand stuff. Almost gives me a little bit of a line to follow, kind of, sort of. Maybe, maybe not.
And this is quick and easy. <clears throat> Let's just refer to this as quick and easy. Oh, I'm taping that back up. Because One of these days I'll do an intricate and hard airbrush job. The, the thing that goes on around here mostly, I'm in Southern Illinois. There's no money down here. You know, the only people who's got good jobs are coal miners. And the coal miners ain't got time to ride, so most of them <laughs> got motorcycles, but you, they never get out on them enough to break them and have to need them repaired. So, just to kind of go on that note, a lot of guys ain't got a lot of money. Can't afford expensive paint jobs. So rather than for me to spend oh, a week on a little bit of airbrushing, you know, to make something look good, I can kind of come in and spend a few hours, get them a decent looking paint job. Granted, it's not my best work, but it's quick work. And they can get their paint job quick and uh, it looks good when I'm finished with it. That's all that matters. Some people might not agree with the way I do things. I'm gonna tell you like to tell everybody else, don't give a shit. <laughs> now, Here's where we're at. You can kind of see where those tape lines were. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna, I'm gonna do these wings anyway, so. Can't see it now, see? Uh oh, how to paint. How to get to You can see this, okay? I haven't even checked. Yeah, I guess you can. Some people say I got smoker's cough. I say I got painter's hack. Any y'all airbrushers out there got painter's hack? <laughs> you know, it's mostly my sinuses this time of year. They just get blown out. And I'll fight them till summertime again. Start turning off fall. Get the coughs and the everything else. So let's peel all this, let's take a look at it.
Now the other coat on all this is just black base coat. And uh, yeah, I'll have to, when I get done with this stuff, I can spend hours masking or I can get this done quick. I can take the paint gun, a little bit of black, redust the top of this bag. Everything's back to normal. It's gonna get a little bit of scales up here anyway. So it really doesn't matter. That little bit of overspray is gonna be covered up with paint, so. Like I said, a lot of guys worry and meticulous about mask and shit. And unfortunately, I got a motorcycle shop to run and I am the painter along with the fixer and the tech and uh, I know what's going on and hey Dave, how do you get this off, blah, 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 that kind of crap, so. I'm, I'm running them up. Let's just put it in old man terms. I'm running them up. So, hope you can see that. What I'm doing is just kind of texturing in some veins onto this paint where it kind of looks like these wings have some veins in them. We're also going to put the cracks in them. Just some tears. Flavor. Okay, let's grab the other one. Come here and switch these for me. Oh, get it right there. Where you go? Grab that other bag. Bag, I got it. I got it. Yeah, I was, had that one in my hand. I couldn't. You want to take over for me and do this? <laughs> Brian's my airbrusher in training. This kind of stuff, the faster you go, the better. Once you get accurate enough of this thing in your hand, you can kind of, the faster you move this airbrush, the better off you are. Ryan, you want to start putting lids on everything but the blue at the moment? Today, folks, we are uh, going to be out at the home site.
moving all my bolts and stuff around because we're gonna be moving the paint facility out to my house where we got more room. So we can have a bigger paint booth. And uh, we'll keep everybody in, involved. <coughs> <coughs> Okay, we'll keep everybody informed, I mean. I'm just using the blue as some shading. This is more or less a chrome effect, kind of. Kind of, sort of, not really. And uh, I'm using this blue candy, it's just kind of shading. So. Grab that other one. Damn camp. Do what? Yeah, I'll, he'll be, I'll paint him in. He'll be chrome. chrome ant. That'd be a cool paint job. Big chrome ant on a motorcycle. That'd be a good paint job for a jet bike. Hmm. Make it look like a giant chrome ant. What was the movie? With all the ants? <clears throat> <laughs> now there was a, it was it was an old B movie had giant ants and stuff in it. You know the one that I always remember, and I'm gonna say it. And people have to look it up to see what it means because I'm not gonna say what it means. Night of the Lepus. It was a drive-in movie. You had to be old enough to go to the drive-in when your mom and dad was watching. Yeah, it was definitely a B movie. Night of the Lepus. Everybody look that one up. There's a, there's a weird one for you to watch. I think Lepus is Latin for what the movie's about. You have to you have to look it up to find out. I'm not telling everybody. How's that? I mean, one of my favorite old movies that I watch now and it looks stupid as hell is The Blob. The Blob, yeah. <laughs> that was in that era. 